Officers of the College, Fellows, Members and Guests, a very warm welcome to today's Honorary Fellowship Ceremony. It gives me great pleasure to celebrate the awarding of Honorary Fellowship to Dr. Jeffrey M. Drazen, which is the highest honour that our College can bestow. We are not only welcoming Dr. Drazen to the College virtually as an Honorary Fellow, but also giving you the opportunity to hear his presentation, The Play of Chance. Dr. Drazen has a very distinguished career. He held the position of Editor-in-Chief of the New England Journal of Medicine for 19 years. Many people would argue that this journal has had more impact on medicine globally than any other medical journal publishing original research. That ha happened under his leadership. Professor Anthony O'Regan will speak about Dr. Drazen's career and his contribution to medicine and science in his citation. Now I would like to ask Professor Anthony O'Regan, Dean of the Institute of Medicine, to make the citation for Dr. Drazen on behalf of the Royal College of Physicians of Ireland. It is a great privilege to present this citation for Professor Geoffrey Drazen. An honorary fellowship is awarded for outstanding contributions to medicine and the related humanities. It is the highest honour the Royal College of Physicians of Ireland can bestow. It is my great pleasure, therefore, to propose Professor Drazen as a worthy recipient. Professor Drazen has had an extraordinary career of almost 50 years. He is presently the editor of the New England Journal Group and the immediate past editor-in-chief of the New England Journal of Medicine. He's the Parker B. Francis Professor of Medicine at Harvard Medical School and a senior physician at the Brigham and Women's Hospital. His career has encompassed that rare ability to excel in clinical medicine, scientific research and scholarly teaching. Born in St. Louis, Missouri, Jeff graduated from medical school at Harvard Medical School in 1972. He trained at the Peter Bent Brigham Hospital in Boston, now known as the Brigham and Women's Hospital. Reflecting his leadership in science and clinical medicine, he was appointed chief of the pulmonary division, first in Beth Israel um, uh, Deaconess Hospital and then in the Brigham and Women's Hospital in 1989. He was promoted to Professor of Medicine and Professor of Physiology at Harvard Medical School over this time. Recognized as an outstanding clinician and educator, Jeff combined these skills with an extraordinarily productive scientific career. A respiratory physiologist at outset, he was particularly interested in lung mechanics, but he focused later on asthma immunopathogenesis. Indeed, many of the mediators we recognize as standards of care today were pioneered by the work of Jeff Drazen. Perhaps the major contribution um, to respiratory medicine um, over that time was defining the leukotriene pathway and developing a novel group of pharmaceutical agents, the leukotriene receptor antagonists, Montelukast, as we would know these drugs. These drugs now are used by tens of millions of people worldwide and they're testament to Jeff's scientific ability. Professor Drazen has published over 600 peer-reviewed publications and has edited 12 books, including the Cecil's Text of Medicine. He was appointed as the eighth editor-in-chief of the New England Journal of Medicine in 2000 and remained editor for 19 years, uh, reflecting his remarkable energy and talents. Under his watch, the journal has flourished. It has over 2 million visits each week and it is ranked at the highest impact of any medical journal publishing original research. Jeff has also been at the forefront of worldwide efforts to recognize and register all clinical trials and to share clinical data. Through all of this, Jeff has maintained an extraordinary enthusiasm for medicine, for learning, and for training the next generation of clinicians and clinician scientists in the world. President, it is therefore my great honor to propose Pref Professor Geoffrey M. Drazen as an Honorary Fellow of the Royal College of Physicians of Ireland. Thank you, Professor O'Regan, for that wonderful citation. Welcome, Dr. Drazen. I would now like to admit you as an Honorary Fellow, and I would like to invite you to make the Fellowship Declaration. I, Dr. Geoffrey Drazen, do promise and declare that I will well 
truly and faithfully attend and exercise the office or place of Honorary Fellow of the Royal College of Physicians of Ireland in all things touching and concerning the same. By virtue of the authority vested in me as President, I hereby admit you as an Honorary Fellow of the Royal College of Physicians of Ireland. Congratulations, Dr. Drazen. Thank you, uh, Professor Horrigan. Um, it's a great honor. Um, it's too bad uh, we can't all be together in uh, Dublin to share bangers and mash. Yes, hopefully that'll come shortly. It'll be nice to take to the air again and uh, see all our colleagues. We have a very right. strong connection with uh, North America medicine and uh, we miss that face-to-face uh, -face interaction. Right. It was, uh, it's, uh, it's always much more rewarding uh, to do that, but uh, given where we are, uh, I think that the end is near if we can get the world vaccinated. Absolutely. Early. It's a global response um, to a global issue, and it's great to see President Biden uh, push that agenda. It's really welcome, uh, as, as he said it in the G7 meeting uh, last week so so it really is uh, a, a great great to be a, a year later with a safe effective vaccine for a brand new virus uh, being uh, making huge huge impact um, if you want to say any uh, few extra words um, to our membership which is large about 12,000 doctors will be listening across nine, 90 countries or so um, it would be really nice. All right. Well, uh, I'm greatly honored and indeed humbled uh, to receive this uh, honorary fellowship. I think that uh, during the past 18 months, all of us in the medical profession have been called in a way that none of us have previously in our life. I know that the time that I spent uh, in the hospital where I do ICU work uh, was uh, in a way interesting, scary, uh, and rewarding. Uh, to me, the mix of taking care of patients and at the same time watching uh, the ability of science to conquer this illness through a variety of vaccines has really shown the importance of medicine and medical understanding around the world. I want to thank all of you for the work that you put in over the past 18 months and hope that things let up a little bit. Uh, for the next 18 months. Uh, we're not quite through this yet, and there are lots of nightmare scenarios. Unfortunately, uh, the risk is not zero, but it's pretty small, and that I hope uh, the world will be able to pull through this uh, such that uh, COVID-19 becomes just another disease in our textbook and not the disease that everyone thinks of first. So thanks for this honor, and thank you all for the work that you've done to try to help all of the people in the world survive a most terrible pandemic. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Drazen. It was fantastic to meet you virtually today. Um, delighted to have that common link. You born and educated in St. Louis and um, I being trained and work there. Um, so it is indeed a small world. So it's great to have you part of our community of 12,000 doctors across 90 countries. And our fellows are among the leaders of the health service and the medical profession around the world. So we are truly delighted to have you as an honorary fellow of our great college. Congratulations, a very warm welcome. We wish you every success in the future and look forward to you visiting um, our great college in Dublin uh, in the near future. Thank you. Well, thank you, Professor Horrigan, and uh, you're welcome back in the States uh, when the situation quiets down. Thank you very much. Thank you.